In this video, I'm going to be showing you how to make this cool soft body physics animation in Blender. Um, this was requested by someone. They commented on one of my videos, which is a video of uh, a render very similar to what I'm making here, and they asked for a tutorial. So here it is. Here's a video made pretty much exclusively for you. I don't know how many other people are going to watch this. The first thing I'm going to do is delete all of my default objects here, and I'm going to set up the world lighting. So I'm going to add in a HDRI from HDRI Haven. I'll put a link in the description. And once I've added that, I'm going to change my render engine to cycles because EV looks terrible and turn on GPU compute and denoising. So once you've got the lighting set up, you're going to want to uh, add a backdrop to your scene. So I'm going to create a backdrop by adding in a plane and scaling it up, going into edit mode and just extruding one of the edges up like this and then you can bevel it and that's a very very quick way of just making a backdrop which you're then going to shade smooth and go and enable auto smooth. Next I'm going to add in a camera I'm just going to very roughly position that just about there. So once you've got the camera and the backdrop it's kind of up to you how you want to add extra objects into the scene so I'm going to add maybe three extra objects just as background objects and um, things for our soft bodies to collide with just to add some interest to things all right so it's truly up to you I'm using some objects from the extra objects add-on so I've got things like Taurus knot lots of extra stuff that's just kind of randomly interesting so I'm just going to do that now I'm going to add in some stuff So as you can see, I've just added some random objects here and these just add a bit of visual interest to the render and something for our physics objects to collide with. So now we're going to want to add physics to this scene. So first of all, these objects here that we've got, these are objects that our icospheres, our floating icospheres are going to collide with. So we're going to want to select them, go to the physics tab and just add a collision to all of them. Just like this. For this backdrop here, because it's flat, um, I found that if you have something that is flat, like a plane just here, you get a lot of problems. Uh, so it's best to just add a solidify modifier, just like that, and then add a collision after you've added the solidify modifier, because otherwise you, ju you just get a lot of problems if you try and do collisions with a, with a flat object. It, it just doesn't work at all. So now we're ready to add an icosphere. So we're just going to add that and scale it down. And this is going to be our floaty cool soft body object. So we're going to want to select this and we're going to want to add soft body and then collision in that order. I'm going to turn off goal. I'm going to go to edges here. I'm going to turn bending to 0 0.8. Then we're going to add a force field to the scene here. We're going to add force field force. Put that in about the center of the scene and change its strength to minus 0 0.2 just like that. Now we're going to want to select our icosphere here and go to field weights and turn gravity off and force here we're going to keep on. We go to frame 0 here and we're just going to keyframe gravity and force and then we're going to duplicate that keyframe to about frame 200 and we're going to extend our timeline to th frame 350 and just go to the cache setting here for our icosphere's physics and change that to 350. Uh, change the end frame to 350, that is. Now if you play, you'll see that our icosphere is attracted to our force field here. But we want this to fall down after some time, and that's obviously not happening here because we haven't got a keyframe that switches gravity back on and force off. So if we go to frame about 205, we can just turn gravity on turn the force fields effects off and keyframe that and you'll see when we hit frame 200 gravity takes effect again and it bounces around and that's just what we're looking for so now we can just take this icosphere and we can duplicate it i'm just going to scale it down first but we can just duplicate this couple of times uh, the more you duplicate it the likelier it's going to get but that's fine let's duplicate but that one over there and some other dumps don't do that I'd say six. That, that looks like a good amount, I'd say. So 
Now if we click play, we'll see that they all go to the center and interact with each other. And then they're going to bounce around like that for a while. In frame 200, boom, there we go, they bounce around. Nice. So now what we're going to want to do is select one of the icospheres. We're going to want to go to this cache setting here, in our soft body settings, and we're going to want to click Bake All Dynamics. And this is going to bake the physics for every single one of our icospheres here, which is just going to re well eliminate lag in the viewport pretty much. So as you can see now, it runs just the same, but it runs smoothly, and that's very, very handy. Now, to add a bit of depth to the animation, what I'm going to do is I'm going to animate this camera here, zooming in a bit, and then zooming back out. So it's very simple to do. I'm just going to keyframe its position here. I'm going to move to frame 200. I'm just going to grab this camera in a bit, just like this, and keyframe the location. So as you can see, it zooms in. And we can just get the first keyframe and just duplicate that, move it to the end. And now when we play the animation, we've got this slow zooming in, which just adds a bit. It adds to the animation. It makes it look a lot nicer, I think. Then it's going to just zoom right back out. There we go. So now we've got our animation all set up. All that's left to do is add some shaders to our objects here, set up our render settings, and then render out the animation. Now, I think a nice gold color for these icospheres could look quite nice. So I'm just going to create a material and call it gold. And I'm going to assign that to each of these icospheres here. Once we've added that to every icosphere, I'm going to make it metallic. Turn the roughness down a bit. And just tweak the color. Just make that a little less saturated, I think. There we go. That looks nice. Oops, I've uh, accidentally made the sphere in the back gold too. I think I'm going to give the backdrop here a nice blue color to uh, complement the gold yellow that we've going on. So let's create a new material. Call it background. Just set that to a very light blue. I think I'm going to leave these objects here white. I think that um, that looks quite nice. So obviously we've got some very simple shaders, but I think they look quite good. So the next thing we should do is set up our render settings. So I'm going to use maybe 40 samples. I'm going to turn on optics denoising. And I'm also going to turn on adaptive sampling. So the last thing I'm going to do is go to our output properties here. I'm going to change this from PNG to FFmpeg video. I'm going to set a proper output location for this. Now one last thing I'm going to add is I'm going to go to the compositing tab here. I'm going to turn on use nodes. And um, you can see we've got like one, one thing of this here. So I'm just going to render out a frame real quick. All right, so now I've got a frame rendered out. If we go to our compositing tab here, we can add in a viewer node. And we can just... Put that in there okay and i'm going to add in a glare node just to add a very subtle uh, glow to our objects here so i'm just going to make this a little more subtle than it is right now there you go it's just a very subtle bit of glare from these shiny objects here and after adding the glare in the compositor you are pretty much done you can just click render now and it will save the video to wherever you told it to and that's it that's the tutorial over i guess I hope the video was helpful. Um, if it was, make sure to leave a like. If it wasn't, please comment and tell me why, because I'm not that experienced in making these videos and I definitely need some uh, feedback on my videos. So thanks for watching. Goodbye.